Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is the best biker cafe to go to on your motorcycle. Sounds a bit odd. Catch you inside. Revelator Alf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Please subscribe and hit the notifications button so you'll get all the latest videos uh, sent to you straight away. Now, um, you know, lots of people say, okay, what is the best uh, biker cafe to go to, or what is the best biker meet to go to? Um, do you know what? The simple answer to this is actually there isn't a best one. It really depends what your preference is. Now, for example, um, I've, you know, I've got about three or four uh, which are in easy half an hour riding distance you know, from where I live. They all have their plus points, they all have their negative points. You know, biker cafes uh, you know, attract all sorts of people, not just your rough, tough bikers and not just you know, leather clad you know, sports, uh, sports bike riders, all that kind of stuff. All sorts of people go there, all sorts of motorcycles go there and every cafe, biker cafe, will have a certain night, let's say, of the week where they have a motorcycle meetup point. So it could either be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever it is. Some are kind of, you know, quite up to the modern times, you know, there's, um, you know, they're, they're quite high tech, you know, they've got a theme to them, let's say like the Ace Cafe in London, uh, really, you know, well known, you know, does lots of bike things, but also does lots of car events and everything like that. It's kind of got this, um, Americana kind of feel to it, but it's also got a kind of a, you know, a 1960s cafe feel to it as well. It's it's a little bit of a, a little bit of everything in there. You got other cafes that are just like a transport cafe. You know, and people might just go there and have a bacon butty or whatever. You know, it really depends. You know, what is in your area and how many other bikers go there. So, what is the best one? It really depends. It depends on what your choices are. It depends if you like the, the grotty, grimy ones where you know, you're drinking a mug of tea and a, you're having a fatty boy's breakfast or whatever. Uh, and you've got other people who like doing the same thing. Um, or you got one, you, know, you like going to ones that provide a bit more entertainment. They're, they're a bit more of a visual spectacle for you. you know, can you sit inside? Do you feel comfortable inside or do you feel comfortable outside just you know, walking around the bikes, admiring all the bikes. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh, I like that one. That's really good. Oh yeah. And you start speaking to other bikers. You know, um, you know, motorcyclists, and uh, you know, you start talking about bikes. Now the thing is, you know, people who go to the uh, biker cafes, they're, you know, they're not all nice people. They're not all horrible people. The point is, from it, they're just people. They're all different sorts of people. The common thing that you have is that you all ride motorcycles. Now. That commonality that you have in riding motorcycles actually enables you to be able to freely speak to people in terms of, oh, I like that bike, is that your bike? You know, tell me a little bit about it, type thing. Or I've got one. You know, you can find some common ground with people. Regardless of what they look like, you know, they could be some, God knows, you know, 10 foot ape, you know, hair and tattoos and, you know, skeletons and whatever, all over their, all over their body. Um, but irrelevance, you know, because if you're there, you, you've both got a, um, an interest in motorcycles or the motorcycle lifestyle, you know, that kind of thing. Whether it's club life, whether you're an independent, whether you don't even give a monkeys about club life, you just love riding motorcycles, whether you're just in your own little, you know, off-road, on-road um, kind of world, it doesn't matter, you know, there is a, a meeting point, a congregation point for people who ride motorcycles of all sorts of descriptions. And you're going to get all sorts of people, and most often than not, people are just going to be friendly and they're going to be talking about bikes. If you're an ass, I'm sure that other people will be an ass to you, but if you're just doing your own thing, it's just like anything. You can go anywhere in the world just doing your own thing, you know, if you kind of mind your manners and you're, and you're you know, a happy go lucky kind of person, you never have an issue. But I've certainly never had an issue, I mean, don't expect ever to have an issue either. Um, but you know, you're always going to get people who act a bit, bit daft. You know, these kind of places, especially as the sun goes down, or whatever. But you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, what is the best one? It really depends what what you think is the best. It really depends what is to your personality and also to what you want to do and what you want to go to. Now, from my point of view, what is my best biker cafe? 
actually my best biking cafe is probably one that many others don't go to. I actually prefer to go and seek out, because I, I love to explore and see new things, and that's probably this is what this channel is all about, going and exploring and going to places that other bikers probably don't normally go to. Uh, a lot of the time, or go and find interesting things that other people might not find interesting. So, you know, I like to see uh, cafes that are not really fully utilised by uh, motorcyclists. So I go to cycling cafes, I might go to hiking cafes, you know, all this kind of stuff. Now sometimes you do meet other motorcycling uh, people who are kind of into the same thing as well. It's actually, I don't really want to go to it where there's lots of bikes and all you're talking about is bikes and stuff like that. Actually going to somewhere different and just meeting different sorts of people from dips and walks of life with different interests is, um, you know, really good as well. So anyway, so that's, um, that's the kind of thing that I like. I still enjoy going to the biker biking nights, biking cafes of course every once in a while, but it's not something I say right I've got to set my calendar for every week I've got to go to this biker cafe or this particular one, I, you know that's just me, that's just my personal uh, preferences. What I tend to do is that you know, if I'm riding by at any particular day I might pop in for a coffee or a tea or something to eat, depends if I'm hungry, or you know, I might go to somewhere else. But if I'm planning to go to a cafe, what I'll tend to do is actually I will ride to somewhere that I very rarely go to or haven't been to in a long time or somewhere that's, you know, relatively new and just go and experience something new, whether bikes go there or not. The whole point of the bike cafe is to, to you know, uh, to promote that social aspect of biking, isn't it? So, you know, really, if you know, it's not the biker cafe, it's not the biker pub, it's the kind of the kind of atmosphere that it gives you when you get there. That's the best biker cafe or the best biker pub. It's the atmosphere, it's how it makes you feel, how it makes your friends feel, do you feel comfortable and are you having a, having a good time there? And if you're going to be surrounded by lots of bikes and lots of people who ride bikes with the same kind of attitude towards life, about loving riding their bikes and ever, then that's great and that's the kind of place you go to. Anyway, hope this uh, hope you like the video. I uh, hope you uh, you know if you like it, please uh, hit the like button. Um, please subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Lots more videos coming out, so you hear about it first. And leave any comments below. You know, I've got my favourite you know uh, biking uh, cafes which I go to. Um, you know, one of the big ones I do go to every now and again is still the Ace Cafe in London. You know, it is a bit cheesy in some respects, but I still like going there. Um, there's a local one in which I go to here, which is, you know, quite good, the Hedge Cafe. But, it's, you know, there's all, all sorts all over the country. You know, Loomis in the southeast, uh, pretty good. Some tours Brighton you know, are really good as well. So, and say wherever you are in the world I'm sure you've got your best uh, biking meeting place your best biker cafe and you know I think it's one of those things that you kind of need to promote it we need to still go to these places to keep them in business because they are they are struggling a lot of them just to keep the doors open and to pay for the bills so the more that we can go to them the more teas and coffees and breakfast and food and sandwiches or whatever we can buy the better we're gonna still support this because the world is changing and you know the whole biking community is changing as well and if we can keep feeding into this i think um you know it's it's just going to keep this kind of whole biker cafe um you know social scene alive you know for a few more years left anyway right hope you enjoy it catch you on the next video whenever that is cheers now